Alright, this is Ember's Magic the Kings of Monoclonius. We'll be playing some more Magic the Gathering Arena today. Uh, made an alteration to my mono green deck. Mm, I've had some success with it, more than the other dollhouse decks I've made. Uh, anyway, this should be fun. Let's uh, bust out these dailies. start. Most of my snow stuff. No dollhouse yet, unfortunately. Looks like what we're playing is white. There's a dollhouse. Turn the blizzard brawl if that doesn't get buffed immediately. Or if they don't destroy that. They did not yet. But they did leave all the land up. Hmm. Another plus one. Let's see what they do. Okay. back of the dollhouse and yeah it was indestructible but that doesn't do anything against exile so maybe it's unfortunate okay I have nothing to bring back of the dollhouse yet unfortunately five lands because I know exactly what they will do. I mean, I gotta make them blow it. One way or the other, I gotta make them blow it. Okay, why not? That's cool too. I should have known it's the life gain deck, they're not going to want to sacrifice their creature. I'm slightly more inclined to myself. The life gain isn't really the central focus of this deck. Okay. Um, they are tapped out, fortunately. Oh, 
can can't block it anyway, and I am out damaging their life gain for the moment. They have features. That actually is good for me. Now I can start bringing them back. First we'll start with Prosperous. And a Cosmos Elixir, and now I have a draw engine to go with it. that out. Don't spam. Also fine. Another dollhouse horns. able to attack. That's cool. Gains haste. Oh, cool. I didn't even realize it had that effect. Fine. Now I actually need to get, start getting some creatures or something though. I'm going to just keep poking away while they try to hit me with the gold spam. I don't think they will be out, able to out damage me at this point unless they get some life damage with it. That helps. Send. Really them. Righteous would be unfortunate for me. Probably what they'll bring too. Nope. Attack in for five. Yeah. That's pretty good for me. Is made manifest. Uh, my natural growth would kind of be a waste right now, but it will help on their next turn. I mean, stop them from attacking them, that's for sure. 16 16 on both attack phases. That's pretty beefy, unless they have another way to uh, destroy this or exile it. No? No attacks this time? Okay, I was about to say. You really want that treasure. To what end, sir? I mean, unless you have something that works for a damaged creature, or I, I don't know what you're playing at here. Can't do 11 damage with what you have, I don't think. It doesn't tap on the clock. It doesn't help you if you have another exile uh, on tapped creatures. He's got something he's planning. He's burned two treasures for it. my attention. Really? No countdown timer yet? There we go. Oh, geez, this dude's taking forever today. Burned his treasures right off the bat for some reason. Expecting, I mean, it does help him. Okay, spin the fang bear. Oops. 
Okay. So that's the only move I've got here. And that should help me get more whatever goes to the graveyard I can send back with Dollhouse. Which is nice. It's a good combo. Ten true. I another win. Uh, we'll volume all the time. Not really mean to land right yet. Oh yeah. Um, that is a twenty-two-four. That's a uh, that's a big boy. this. They have to pull out both or they die. Yeah. Alright, that's one game now. I think they were doing the same calculations as me there. I'm like, oh, this isn't going to end well. Yeah, I would have lost my bear, but... Still came up on top, I do believe. And I could have continued with the Ren dollhouse pretty much every turn, unless they found some way to burn it down. I mean, it was red deck, too, so maybe they had some burns going on. Mm. That's a head I can live with. Uh, start with the evolving worlds. Okay. Black, red so far. So I'm expecting burns and destruction in my future. And. You throw a fin down, you're almost always baiting a destruction of some sort. <laughs> then that's kind of how this deck works. And then I can just dollhouse a horse, him or Sarah or whoever else that. And it just kind of cascades from there. If I survive long enough for the dollhouse to come down and start doing its work. Okay. Three wins. I should have drew a class first, that was my mistake. Okay. This one. Funny thing about the Neverwinter Dryads, I can sacrifice it, and then if I have the Dollhouse, I can bring it back and sack it again for more lands if I need to. Sarath itself is not the strongest thing in the world, but it helps everything else. And combo with Finn, it makes for a pretty good instant kill itself. All you need is Finn and four other creatures. Perfect by five, that way you don't have to use Finn. Okay. Left one red up, so maybe a shock. What I could do here is block that one and then tap Sarah. 
So I'm not sure what they're playing at here. Well, they got two, two up. What? What? Oh, it didn't let me. T oh, well, you have to pay one to do that tap. Oh, that was my mistake. Oh well. I forgot about the pay one. That was my mistake. This thing, whenever you get quite a bit of land, is a pretty fun counter to uh, destruction and burn type decks. Because you have to kill it multiple times to actually get rid of it. Dollhouse or do we Colossal Majesty? Colossal Majesty won't get me anything next turn. Hmm. Probably by the time I would get something out of it, it will either have been destroyed. Okay, that treasure token. I mean, they're obviously playing towards the uh, gold span type garbage that everybody does. We got another burn. Plus two first strike. Oh, that's unfortunate. Should have blocked it. No, that would help me if I blocked the pull. Anyway. Either way. He still would have came in with that five if I hadn't have done that, so. Now we dollhouse. Another hoarding ogre. Yeah, I may be a bit too slow this time. Yeah, that hoarding over 7-7 seven, seven is going to be a bit of a headache. Not insurmountable if I get like a skew swarm or something. I still would need trample in that instance. Um, it's unfortunate I don't have a land up right now. I'll just block and then sack the dryad. I think I'll just do this and take the rest. I think I will. That seems like the play to go with here. Next turn I should have two Neverwinter Dryads to sacrifice on defense. Um, I won't have the mana for it though. Yeah, if you, if you didn't have to put it in to play tap, it would work, but otherwise, no. So, what do we get back first? Soon would probably be the most annoying thing for me to bring back first. Potentially have Oh, I should have uh Yeah. Oh, I can't do that during the attack phase though. Obviously. Get rid of that one. Instant to get rid of Finn for two. Sacrifice another creature. Okay, that's fine. And now I wish I'd done it before and then I could have attacked too, but eh. 
So it goes. That was my mistake. Once again. I'm making plenty of those today. Hmm. That's but not unexpected. They will most assuredly come in. Uh huh. Treasures for them. Sacrifice the treasure, draw a card. Okay. So now like that. Let's see. Do we block anything else? I could take out the Zorn or the Kalane. I think I will. The Zorn is doing the double treasures and it's kind of annoying. Yeah, I think I will. here. I kind of figured it was going too slow this time though. Like if I got a skew swarm or something I really could have comboed this. Because I could have used these, sacked them, got more skewts and more insects. It just didn't work out that way. me a lot at this point. We get a little lot life back, that's something. To the number of land you control. That'll help. Soul span. Wait, what? Why didn't you play that before you attacked? You you would have killed me. Well, I think that's game either way, though. Here's another Sarah. You know. Probably is. But we're gonna do a little something something anyway. Protect the land. It's too bad it doesn't have the same reach effect that the uh, other thing I used to have. 
It's still game. It's all game. He kills me with old spare next turn. No matter what. Mostly he would have had me by sheer numbers anyway, but eh. Alright. One more time. I don't think I got my uh, weekly done the other day. I was working six days this week. So, didn't have the most time to play. I don't remember getting 15 wins last week. I think I was a little shy of it. I normally do my cleanup on Friday or Saturday. If I haven't already got wins by then. Definitely could have used more lands. Oh, that helps. Uh, this may be a pretty slow start, too, for me. Black, white. So we're expecting some exiles and destruction. All of you see him. Destruction his hand. Um, man, I don't want to keep swarming without having the dollhouse on backup though. I know it'll just die. Yeah, I need to hold off on it. Keep swarming, unfortunately. Well, we know he got. He has destruction. But is that all he has? Is the question. What game? Draw a card. Yep, okay. Might be able to slow play this guy. Hold a guard. Land. Destruction. Almost there. I still get my land. Thank you. Have a nice day. Let's slow play this thing. It's five. Now I can. Do I hold it over again? I need a sixth land. Yeah, I need a land. Otherwise, I wouldn't. You would probably destroy it immediately again. No five is there. Okay. Hopefully he taps out this turn. And he does. Okay, so it's an angel deck. Okay, I gotcha. Do you have some board wipes to go with that regular destruction? Is the question. Oh, I should have crossed this first. Oh, well. Turn. <clears throat> so this looks like it's going to be an Angels race here. Angels versus Skew Swans. So that wasn't a board white. So maybe I'll top deck both of those. It's fine. I still have my Causeless Elixir. We might just be able to drop down a uh, you meet in a tavern. Back to enchantment, you can life. That's 
kind of painful for me, but I can still, if I get a couple more lands, just overrun with a, you mean a tavern. So that'll be a lot of skews for us. It'll be 8 next turn. Potentially 16. They're going to have a lot of life against me, though. something of reach. So I don't think this is going to save me. He will slowly take me down with that angel. I think this is my only play. Toski doesn't really but do something. You know, I can go in and at least draw some cards. Something. I can only block one at a time. You know, the two will draw me cards. That uh, gets me less damage in the long run. Okay, now I just need a fight spell and fin. Or prosperous and more land drops. That gave me some options anyway. It's fine. That's fine. Five, five. Bit of touch. Okay. It's fine. Okay, so the question is, well, it's not even really a question. Gain hard enough, that is the question. New question, not the one I was gonna ask. Keep my original skeet swarm for now. That's my lot of cards. Six cards. Oh man. Keep me out of their reach there. Um, at this point, I really don't need the treasure, like, at all. Of course, I could always draw a board wipe, and this would all be utterly pointless. I would just wipe the entire board. slowly out of his reach of being able to kill me, I do believe. And that's my uh, fight spell. Unfortunately, it doesn't make this one indestructible. Um, 
Actually, I think that's game. Yeah. Sarah. I could be speaking too soon here. Oh, wait, they have nothing. No, they've got nothing to stop you with. They had a hand, maybe. Um, should be more than enough. Yeah, they only have Death Touch now. Sucks, doesn't it? Still game. I'm not talking much about poison counters. And thin. Yeehaw! I don't give a shoot. I got all kinds of stuff to sack. Really not an issue. Well, that got a little dicey there for a minute, but you yeah. know, Skip Swarm pulled me through. If they'd had a board wipe or the uh, card that reduces damage, reduces one damage, I'd have been in trouble, but it worked out. Oh, I finished my daily. Uh, yeah, we'll just finish one more anyway. Why not? Gotta lose at least once on stream, right? Okay. So, never win a first turn. What is my turn to is the question. Do I sack for the land? Or do I hold out? I think I hold out. Of course I have no idea what they're even playing though. This land cover. today. Both mono green? Really? Okay. Uh, it doesn't help me with my colossal. I still think I'll do it though. Prosperous, just to throw some poison counters to him. Cool. I think it's until the end of turn, alright. Ah, okay. Gotcha. That works. No box. Okay. Necessary, but it would help if I had that uh, dollhouse in my hand already. Let's see this chariot. 
enough land to sack the dryad unfortunately. Um, I think I'll just stay on the defense. They'll probably use this. I don't know what else they'll do. But they'll most definitely do that. deck as well. I haven't seen it today, but it's there. Pretty sure. Can't think of any reason I wouldn't have. Crew? You're not going to crew? I figured you were just going to crew and then a Shia copy. Oh wait, you can't, it has to be a token though. time on this one. Doesn't look like they want to attack right now. Okay. I see why you did that. You want me to sack my fin so I don't use it on your Ashaya. Uh, I think I'll take it. That's fine. If I'd had one more land, I would just went ahead and sacrificed it and never went a dry end it. So it goes. Now I can use my fin to kill the Ashaya. He has no land untapped for that. Attacks. And this time I'll do it either way. Even if they don't attack me, I want that extra land. Because I have to get this guy out soon. what they have in their hand. It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna go block phase first. Okay. Activate the building. It gives me six lands. Which I apparently didn't need, but that's okay. Has another target, so he probably can't target himself with that. Stay on the blocks. At least we can buy time now. More a decent de defensive position.
Okay. Can't be counter hex proof haste. Draw a card now. That is helpful. Okay. That's really not the one I wanted to see. Let's see. Yeah, I do have to target it though, so I can't use Finn to take that out because it's got hex proof. Um, I'll take something out though. So yeah, you can't target it. So, question comes. I don't want to attack with this. This will probably. If I attack with this, he'll probably block with two cats. That's what I would do. It's all for now. We're just gonna buy some time. As long as he doesn't take this out, we're in decent shape. He might have a fight spell by himself. It's more beneficial for him to fight than it is for me. Because that gets rid of my draw cards. I have no other one for. Yep. Mm. Okay. And I imagine he won't attack in. I'd be very surprised if he did. Okay. Okay, that was kind of a dead draw for me. These are doing me no good whatsoever right now. I'm using a dollhouse or something. But I still do have Finn for my defense. That's something. We'll see how long that lasts. He does seem to have, to have quite a few fight spells. I can't target it, but I can block it and kill it that way. Okay. Trade tokens for tokens. This feels like bait though. This feels very much like bait. I think that's what we'll do. See. Now we surf. And the beautiful thing about that is I'll be able to tap things. Untap things as I need to. It's almost tempting to try to keep that alive. Because I can tap, untap, tap again as needed for death touch or hexproof. Don't want to sack Finn. 
I don't want to sack Sarath, but I do want to do something. Not like this person doesn't know about Finn the Fangmare either. dies if you block with it. Alright. On the plus side, that gives me one more thing to bring back with Dollhouse. So yeah, that's the thing. Question is, did they get a fight spell or something they can get rid of this stuff with? Mistake. The mistake would have been to attack him and assume I wouldn't block it. I would. Definitely would. Cost respect first. Now they are 2 2 constructs. that too. I don't think it'll block it. I don't think you'll do it, sir. Okay. That's two poison counters. Unfortunately, they gave them time to read that, so now they know it does. And then conceded, okay. I actually wasn't expecting them to concede there. Well, we roll on, I guess. Let's do a pack opening real quick. Seen this card. First dark reach. At the beginning of combat on your turn, put X 1 1 counters on another target creature you control, where X is Helena and Elena's power. That creature gains haste until end of turn. Huh. I can see some uses for that. See what's in store. Daily deals. No daily deals on packs. We roll on with another game. I haven't said so, but as always, the deck list will be in the description of the video. So if you're watching the vlog later, or on YouTube, it will be there. Why did I do that? I can hold on to that for my skewed form. I mean, it, it 
try to make sense that I did it. Wait, wait, so mostly life gain, maybe exiles, fight spells. Unfortunately, I didn't already have that. Looks like I could have used it on this turn to drop all the guard. as they possibly can. Nothing new to see here. Okay. So... What do we do? Turn to devouring ten year old twelve. Well, it'll be bigger by then. Never mind. Uh, well, then again, if it only gets one bigger, I'll drop a land and this will be five as well. Don't get one power. Okay. That's fine. No blocks. Take that on the chin. We. Let's see. Let's see, three, four. So it won't make skewed swarms yet, it'll make insects. So maybe next turn. We'll go land drop, devouring tendrils. Gain two life. And. Yeah, I don't want to risk that getting exiled immediately. Attack in. Let's see if there's a reason not to. Other than keeping a block up, but I still have layer of hydras here. I don't really want to sack it, but I could. on creature quantity, I'm probably going to win that race. I don't want to sack Sculptor Winter. Yet. I think at some point I wouldn't mind, but right now not so much. Hold back now. Awesome. Fine. Fortunately, they don't have anything yet for getting one life whenever creatures come into play. Pay one. Oh well, that works too. That's really painful. Okay. I need that on natural growth then. Otherwise, we will get overrun. Trample two. Ouch. 
Ouch, ouch, ouch. Really, you're not going to do it this turn? I'm definitely going to fall behind at this rate, though. And power, anyway. Creature quantity, I can still keep up. Unfortunately, this isn't going to cut it. I need... Serif, maybe? Serif would definitely be helpful. Every time they gain life, they can get one more kind of all their creatures. It's pretty strong. Yep, there's a destroy enchantment. That's probably good. Well, we said we were going to get one lost today. Okay. Drop that, get his life. Make it do a plus one counter. Oh yeah, they got a real good combo going on now. Sure they've got me. I mean, I could take out the Trelawson, but okay. That way, me too. So it goes. Still not a bad day. And a pretty fun deck to run. And this has been Emerus Madison the Kins of Monoclonius. Um, thank you for watching. Goodbye.